You've pressed the red button. Now, here's something of no value. Stuart, this week's show was about finance, really, and all the financial trouble there is in the world. As executive producer of the show, I had to sit you down at the end of that recording that we've just watched and, and explain to you that because of the economic climate and as constraints within the BBC's own budget, that you wouldn't be receiving a fee for that show. Well, um, I'm happy with that. And because I think that um, one of the great things about this country is that there's public broadcasting. And um, I think it's a privilege and a pleasure to um, work for the BBC. Mm -hmm. And I would rather pay to work for the BBC than be paid to work for an independent broadcaster. I see it as my duty to find <coughs> other work mm -hmm. to subsidise my ongoing possibility of BBC work. Okay. So do you have a second job at the moment? Um, well, I've been working, um, driving a little uh, tractor around, sort of on Hackney Marshes, uh -huh. um, getting uh, stuff out of the way uh, for the Olympics to be built. Are there other people that one would think of as as as, as being quite comfortably well off, who in fact you see doing doing well, other Well, there's jobs? a common misconception with the public that everyone that you see on television is doing really well. But yeah. Actually, a lot of the time, you have to do other work to subsidise it. Alvin Stardust, who was in. Um, uh, Hollyoaks for a long time. Yeah. He's um, doing similar, he builds little walls and things for where the Olympic stadiums will be. Mm -hmm. He's not qualified to finish the whole structures off, but he can do some of the basic foundation work. Mm -hmm. He's there. And uh, Patrick Moore as well. Oh, yeah. um, just cut some of the grass in the area. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of work needed for that um, project, and a lot of it's cash in hand. And when we're there, we sleep in the toilet block um, yeah. overnight so that we can be maximise the hours for the next day. Now, if I were to tell you that I pocketed your fee to enhance my fee as executive producer on this show, how would you feel then? Well, I'd feel happy again, because I think it's just such a privilege to be working for the BBC alongside talents like David Attenborough and Adrian Childs. To be in that company and yourself and me. is fine, and I, I, would, I, you know, I don't expect anything from it at all. And I just wondered if you could rank my talent alongside David Attenborough and Adrian Three, Child. you're the third in that oh. trinity of people. Really, and yeah. no, is there any way that we could change that or, or that you could be persuaded to... Well, David Attenborough's position higher. is unassailable. Adrian Charles, I don't think he's got a sell-by date. I don't know, I think it's where it is, yeah. David Attenborough's unassailable? Yeah, he's an unassailable position of, he is the BBC sums it all up, yeah. Because there's no way, well, you, honestly, you honestly think there's no way that I, I can have more, like I couldn't have more talent than David Attenborough? Not without expanding your portfolio to include insect work. Okay, well if, hmm. okay, well if I, I'm happy to do that, but I, it's, I, I, I just cannot imagine a world in which it's impossible to conceive of me being less popular than David Attenborough. I just find that unfathomable. Well, you know, what can I say? That's All right, well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take your comments earlier and we'll just re-edit it. Oh, fine, to make it good. sound like yep. I, was, I was better than them. But how possible is it for a man to rent out his anal passage? Viewers will be interested to know that that is real footage of a colonoscopy and because of the current climate um, the BBC didn't want to pay out to hire any in or buy any in mm -hmm. and it's actually um, footage that was donated by a friend of one of the people working on the crew mm -hmm. who was going for a colonoscopy and just asked if he could have um, the tape so that is so, 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 so hang, hang on so it's yeah. not actually the actors no, it's not the actors. It's not Miles investigation. Jupp's. Investigation. It's not Miles Jupp's uh, internal organs that we're seeing there. It's those okay. of uh, a friend. Well, that's something we have to uh, actually make clear. From we the have start. to make it clear. But I also thought people would be interested in the fact that it wasn't just bought in willy nilly. That was actually yeah. donated by someone connected with the production. Yes, but you know what's going to happen. I mean, all hell is going to break loose unless that program is preceded with a, a, a warning from the BBC saying viewers may like to know that the scenes set in a colon in the following program are not of the actor Miles Joe. Yeah, but I mean, it's a bit like when Stephen Fry was supposed to be driving around America in his taxi, and yes. they had to put this thing up at the beginning saying, this isn't his actual taxi, it's one uh -huh. we got in America that is the same, 
because the cost of shipping it over would have been prohibitive. Uh -huh. You could make an announcement mm -hmm. about the, uh, the it being the colon, uh, interior shots of the colon of someone other than the actor. You could do that, but mm -hmm. I think that I don't think that anyone at home is realistically expecting us to have rigged up the whole um, like little camera thing so that we could see the inside of um, of Miles of Mar Jupp's organs. If every sketch where you see an internal investigation of someone mm -hmm. has to actually be actual footage of the internal organs of that mm -hmm. actor, mm -hmm. then we're going to be it's going to be pretty much impossible to make any television. Yes, but that is future. the current climate. I mean, well, for example, autopsies now have to be actual autopsies of the actors playing the part of the person being. Well, it's a very short-sighted uh, policy. I don't, you know. I mean, I um, think people understand what acting is, and acting is, you know, a acting and, and making a program are about. You know, you, you use certain sleights of hand. So what? It wasn't internal footage of, of Miles, <laughs> Miles Jupp's internal organs. Car crashes is another one. In a drama, if there's a car crash, yeah. then those actors genuinely have to... Well, it's not going to It's not going to work. They cut like, the cable. They basically so cut the cable on the, on the um, brakes. You um, know, there's a lot of actors. Uh -huh. There's a glut yeah. of them in many ways. But we're yeah, not which is why it's fine to lose two well, in, you a, can't, in a take. You can't treat people like you, that. You ship another two you know, and if, it, if you want to do a retake. Well, if something. the public are saying that every uh -huh. time there's... You know, an, an, an act of violence on television, an actual actor has to be killed. Yeah. What progress have we made since the Roman Colosseum when people were murdered and, and killed in, in the pursuit of entertainment? Someone's got to draw a line in the sand mm -hmm. and say, obviously, there's a certain amount of sleight of hand and of freedom with the truth. Mm -hmm. And if the point at which that starts is the internal colonoscopy footage in this programme, then great, I'm glad to have put that on the agenda. Now, um because of the current climate, we've got to try and make as much money. We've got to basically recoup the cost of the program. Mm. Uh, we're still under. We're, we're still in the red. So we have to come up with as many money-making schemes as possible. The first thing we want to do is just do... Uh, I just wondered if you could sing a Stuart Lee ringtone that we could then sell right. online. Uh, uh, have you got any catchphrases? Well, there aren't any catchphrases in it. No? I mean, that's no. another oversight. There's no repetition, there's no catchphrases. It's political there's correctness no, gone mad. Well, in no, week three, that no. gets said a lot, but you know, it's not a phrase that I came up with. I mean... A comprehensive, was it, so oh, yeah. study of its in causes? In week one, yeah, week two, so a comprehensive study of its causes. I mean, that'd be yeah. ideal yeah. if we did that in a sort yeah. of funny voice right now. It's just not something that can be strip, stripped for its assets. Oh, I know, but if yeah. you could. Yeah. What the phrase a comprehensive yeah. study of its causes? In a funny voice. A comprehensive study of its causes. I think that would be a good ringtone. That would be a good yeah. ringtone. All right, fine. Yeah. And that will net us uh, uh, up to four or five hundred pounds. Wow. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Within the first, within a month. Right. Okay. And just a final, final question. I have ten pounds. Mm. What would you do for it? For ten pounds? Yeah. Well, I'd be prepared to source some of the footage of my own colonoscopic investigations and sell that onto the BBC.